In general, when you're working on a project, you don't want to use the same clip twice or use the same parts of a clip twice. There are exceptions, of course, but the general rule is that you don't want to have duplicate clips or frames inside your project. And Premiere Pro has this neat little feature that shows you when you've duplicated a clip or duplicated part of a clip in your project. To follow along, go to Working Files, go to Projects, and go on down to Dupe Frame Detection. I set up this project with 11 clips, and there's a reason for that that'll become apparent in just a moment. These are 11 different clips. They're sort of similar, but they're different. Let me turn off the audio there so you can see them without that noise distracting you. But nevertheless, there are 11 different clips here provided by Digital Juice for our use. And what I want to do now is set up the timeline such that if I duplicate one of these clips or parts of a clip, I'll get a visual indication that that's happened. And it's very easy to do that. Just go up here to this Timeline Display Settings button, click on It and then click on Show Duplicate Frame Markers. What's going to happen now is if I duplicate a clip or part of a clip, a little colored line will show up at the bottom of the clip here indicating that that's happened. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to take this clip here, click on it, do Ctrl or Command C to copy it, put my current time indicator at the end by pressing the End key, and now pressing Ctrl or Command V to paste it, and notice what happens. I've put a duplicate clip there, and I get this little blue bar there indicating that I have two duplicated clips. Let me zoom in on this a bit so you can see that. It's called Time Lapse 2, and you see that it's a duplicate clip. But now I'm going to trim away the beginning of this one using the Ripple Edit tool. Trim away the beginning here. And so now the beginning of this clip is no longer duplicated. So you see that this shows that the second half of this clip, which is remaining over there on the left, is now duplicated here in this clip. But the beginning is not. So the bar can show you frames that are duplicated or entire clips that are duplicated. Very helpful. Now I'll show you why I put 11 clips here, and that's because there are different colors, but you run out of colors after 10, and you start rotating the colors back again. I'll just show you the entire sequence there. Let me select the first 10 clips. I'll press V to get the selection tool. Do a marquee selection for those first 10. Do Control or Command C to copy them. Put my current time indicator at the end with the end key. Let me zoom out a bit here so you can see everything. I'll do Control or Command V to paste those clips, and watch this little rainbow of colors here. Pretty cool. I'll click away so they're no longer selected. Pink there, the duplicate clip is over there. Orange here, orange there, lime green here, lime green there. Those are all duplicated clips. You see when we get to this 10th one here, we've got nine here plus this 10th one that we did originally, you start duplicating the color. So you run out of colors after 10. You can't select the colors, you can't set the colors. Those are all done by default inside Premiere Pro. But nevertheless, 10 is quite a few. You probably won't have more than 10 duplicated things. But just keep in mind, if you go past 10, then the colors start rotating. In any event, though, by simply turning on this duplicate frame detection feature, you can tell when you've duplicated an entire clip or part of a clip.